Police in Washington, D.C. are searching for suspects after a shooting Saturday night outside Nationals Park. Gunshots heard in the stands sent terrified baseball fans scrambling for cover. No one inside the park was hurt, but three people outside were wounded. Chris Van Cleve was at the game Saturday night and joins us from Nationals Park. Chris, good morning. A scary night at the ballpark. Good morning, Anthony. It definitely was. Let me set the scene for you. On Saturday night, about 33,000 fans were inside Nationals Park. There was supposed to be a big fireworks display after the game against the Padres going into the bottom of the sixth inning. That's when we heard the gunshots. There was a period of confusion and then panic as players and fans ran for their lives. Your attention, please. We ask that you remain inside the stadium at this time. The sound of gunfire sent fans racing to escape Washington, D.C.'s baseball stadium Saturday. This was the view from my seat as the crowd ducked for cover, fearing an active shooter was inside the ballpark. It was a scary situation because at first we didn't know if there was somebody in the stadium or if there was somebody if it was outside of the stadium. The shots loud enough to be heard on the game's broadcast. All Saints. The shooting actually happened on the street just outside the stadium. Three people were wounded, including a woman who had just left the game. Police are now looking for this Toyota Corolla. So one vehicle pulls up, another vehicle pulls up next to it, engages that first vehicle uh, in gunfire. Less than 24 hours earlier, the nation's capital was rocked by another drive-by shooting that killed six-year-old Nia Courtney and wounded five adults. I don't even know what the conflict was. None of us do. Doesn't matter. This is a six-year-old who is now dead, not coming back. The moment those shots were fired, seen in this video released by police. Violence has been on the rise in Washington during the pandemic. Earlier this month, D.C. passed 100 homicides for the year, the fastest it's reached that grim milestone since 2003. Courtney's death drew frustration from D.C.'s police chief. I need tips. I need you to say, this is where that car is, chief. This is what the beef is about, chief. This is who did it, Chief. Send me a smoke signal. There is now a $60,000 reward for information in that case. As for the Nats and Padres, they finished Saturday's game yesterday with the Nats thanking the tens of thousands of fans who came out to the ballpark. Gail? Boy, Chris, this is a world we live in. I hope somebody takes the Chief up on his offer and gives him the information. Really glad that you're okay. It sounds terrifying.